travel has the power to change us, to shake us to the core and reshape the way we see the world. It can also reshape the way we see our travel companions, not always for the better. Like the time Martha Shaughnessy, founder of the Key PR, was on a trip to Argentina with friends in 2009. After a long travel day, the group of eight arrived at the rental counter exhausted only to find the company was out of vans. Some of the friends exploded, yelling and waving copies of the rental agreement. It became almost competitive escalation between these guys, Shaughnessy said. The display did not help her group get a vehicle, but it did change the way Shaughnessy thought about those friends. It made me want to crawl out of my skin when I saw that, she said. Traveling somewhere new is often full of curveballs. There will inevitably be kinks to sort out with your companions, whether you've known them your whole life or you're still getting friendly. You might love and trust somebody and enjoy their company, but if you've not traveled with them, you might be really surprised at some of the personality differences that you didn't notice," said Andrea Bonier, a licensed clinical psychologist and the host of the podcast, Baggage Check. Part of it is that travel can be stressful in different ways in everyday life, and I think people respond to that very differently. There are people with whom you should probably not travel, for your sake and theirs. These are the signs you might be with the wrong travel partner, according to travelers we surveyed. No, 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 no. And yet, people do it all the time. Even in the lavatory, we will not be traveling with those people. It's one thing to have your own food preferences, it's another to force it on other people. On a recent trip to Barcelona, Sandra Weinacht, who co-owns the tour company Inside Europe Travel Experiences, found herself eating a plate of sardines under the table because her picky eater companion didn't like the looks of them. Pass. We live in a society, and there are rules to getting off in an efficient order. If they move into the aisle too early, it's over. A jam-packed itinerary is a house of cards. One late taxi arrival can bring the whole shebang crashing to the ground. More importantly, they're ruining the vibe. As travel writer Jake Emmons said, trying to force too much in there. You take away all the fun unknowns and random occurrences and diversions and interesting interactions that are the real magic of travel. Former flight attendant Sean Kathleen, who created the popular Instagram account at Passenger Shaming, has noticed a lot of people referring to their rights on planes lately, she said. Like, I have the right to listen to my video with no headphones. Plot twist. It's not your right to listen to videos, music or phone calls out loud. It's grounds for divorce. Dangerous? No. But to many, it's a habit so disgusting, it's a deal-breaker. Three words. Airport bathroom floors.